Hi, welcome to The Buffer Zone. Today we're going to be looking at something called the bucket test. This test is designed to identify if your pool's leaking or if you're simply losing water through evaporation. All you're going to need for this test is a bucket, a ruler and a marker. So what you need to do is one, on the edge of your pool, fill the, the bucket up with pool water, leave it maybe five centimetres or two inches from the top. Little arrow there, right on line. Then we pop the bucket into the pool on the top step. And then once the water settles, we mark the water level on the outside of the bucket. and you come back 48 hours later and see whether the water on the outside of the bucket has dropped more than the water on the inside of the bucket. That's where the ruler comes into play. Ideally, you'd start the test with everything switched off or the pumps turned off. If you're not getting a drop at that point, then try it again with all the system running. Sometimes you'll have a leak that'll only, have, only occur when the pool pump or solar pump or something like that is running. So you're not gonna know if everything's switched off. It's also important to try to remember to not let anyone use the pool during this time because they can taint the, the test in some way. Water can splash into the pool, into the bucket, and, uh, and can give you a bit of a false reading or if there's a lot of splash out of the, on the edge of the pool, then the water level will drop unnaturally. So really important that no one uses the pool during this time. Also, ideally you don't really want this test completed if there's a lot of heavy rain. Uh, theoretically, the rain should fill the bucket at the same rate it fills the pool, but depending on the design of the pool, you could get a lot of water rushing in from the sides. It could affect the readings as well. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Feel free to drop by, check out any of our other videos.